Emmanuel Quickly is the next Lou William. Let's get into this. Emmanuel Quickly was the 25th overall pick in this year's NBA draft to the New York Knicks. There weren't too many expectations for Emmanuel Quickly. A ton of scouts and fans thought it was a huge reach that the Knicks pick Quickly at the 25th overall pick in the first round because a lot of people projected him to go mid second round. The consensus of what Emmanuel Quickly could be in this league if he fulfilled his potential was just a catch and shoot guy. He had a player comp to guys like Troy Daniels and some other players that had a similar play style to him. And that was only if he fulfilled his potential. So drafting a guy like that at 25, who wasn't going to be much more than just a catch and shoot guy, was a little bit of a reach and you could find those pretty easily in free agency. But ever since the season started for the Knicks, you could just tell that Emmanuel quickly is much more than just a catch and shoot guy. It makes you question what the scouts were even watching in college. Now obviously people can make mistakes and even the most talented people at their jobs make mistakes from here from time to time and predicting where a young talent could go in the future in the NBA is one of the most hard things you could possibly do. But my thing isn't that they got it wrong and they're saying he wasn't a good player and he's a good player. The thing that I'm confused about is they completely misinterpreted his play style. He's nothing like a catch and shoot guy. Yeah, he's a great shooter, but that doesn't mean he's just a catch and shoot guy. He obviously has pretty good handles. He can get to the basket. He has a really good floater game that even watching college games, he had it ever since then. He's literally known for his floater and getting to the basket. So just labeling this guy as a catch and shoot guy, I'm not sure where you're seeing that from. I could see that you could say coming out of college that Emmanuel quickly wouldn't be a true point guard and he's more of a combo guard, which a lot of people were saying about him. But ever since he got to the NBA, he's really gotten a lot better in terms of his playmaking. But obviously that's not something that he could have told before he came to the NBA. So that I understand. It's just a little weird how they completely misinterpreted the game that he plays. But anyways, enough with that rant, getting back to the video. This season, Emmanuel quickly has been playing so well for the Knicks and he's definitely put himself himself in the rookie of the year conversation. He won't win it, but he's going to be in the top three. And who would have seen that coming before the season started? Offensively, Emmanuel quickly is an absolute bucket. He can score in so many different ways. Obviously, as I said before, he's a great three-point shooter and he has many times, especially recently, where he shoots the ball well beyond the arc. He clearly has a ton of range. This season, Emmanuel quickly is shooting an incredible 39% from deep. And you can tell he's just gaining more and more confidence out there, especially recently. One of the best traits Emmanuel quickly has is the fact that he has so much confidence out there and he doesn't let anything phase him. He came into the league with so much confidence for the Knicks and that was one of the biggest reasons why he played so well very early on in the season. But as the season progressed, he's got even more confidence. This season, Emmanuel quickly is averaging a pretty good stat line of 12 points per game, 2 assists per game, 2 rebounds per game on 40% shooting from the field. And a guy like that typically wouldn't be in the conversation to win Rookie of the Year, although he won't win it this season i know he won't win it but he's still in the conversation and a guy putting up those numbers typically wouldn't the reason that his numbers aren't as good as they otherwise should be is just because he's only averaging 19.8 minutes per game and he gets very sporadic minutes sometimes he plays 30 plus minutes a game and other times he barely plays at all maybe 10 or less minutes and that was decided very early on based on how he was playing that game if he was having more of a rough game thibodeau would just take him out of the game early and wouldn't play him for the rest of the game but other games if he was playing well early he would keep him in for the rest of the game and he would get a ton of minutes but recently quickly has been playing so well that he's been playing so many more minutes right now and his averages will go up eventually quickly is definitely one of those six man type guys like jr smith lou williams who i particularly think he's very similar to to the fact that he could just put up 30 or even 40 points sometimes whenever he wants he's just an absolute scorer off the bench which you need another part of emmanuel quickly's game that is so prolific offensively is his floater Coming out of college, some scouts were saying this, but a lot of fans watching Kentucky basketball were saying this, that he had such an effective floater. All the guards in the league that are pretty prolific scorers all have a pretty good floater to them. It's just such an easy shot that you can quickly put up over the bigger defender, and it's also a pretty efficient shot. When Emmanuel quickly is struggling offensively, as any player would, especially someone in the rookie season, he typically leans on his floater 
pressure and he gets some easy buckets that way. Another part of Quickly's game that is so special and I really think is one of the main reasons that I personally think that he's going to be the next Lou Williams in this league is the fact that he draws fouls so easily. Quickly is so slick on the offensive end and always knows where to be in order to draw fouls. He does that move that a lot of people use and especially guys like Lou Williams and James Harden who made it famous is the fact when you put your hand under the defender's hand and quickly pull up and make it an easy shooting foul. Guys like James Harden and Lou Williams are really the founders of this kind of move to draw fouls. It took them a long time in their careers to be able to get to that point where they're so prolific with it. Quickly's in his first season and literally right out of the gate within his first few games he was doing that very efficiently. So it just comes to him very naturally and it's a really good talent to have to be able to draw fouls that easily. Even when you're not having a good game if you can get to the line sometimes that can get you going but even if it doesn't get you going let's say for example at least you're getting points for your team because quickly is a very efficient shooter when he gets to the line he's shooting over 90 percent from the line which is within the top five i really think emmanuel quickly when his career is all said and done is going to be very similar to the career that lou williams had quickly always talks about the fact that lou williams is emmanuel quickly's favorite player and he really modeled his game after him and you could really see that out there on the court going point by point the main way that lou williams scores in this league is the fact that he's able to draw fouls and obviously i said emmanuel quickly is also able to do that very prolifically lou williams also has a really good ability to get to the basket which emmanuel quickly also has but one thing that lou williams has that emmanuel quickly doesn't is he has a pretty good dribble pull-up game in the mid-range to the fact where emmanuel quickly doesn't necessarily have that same ability but emmanuel quickly is a way better three-point shooter than lou williams is not saying that emmanuel quickly can't shoot the dribble pull up from mid-range at least he just doesn't do it so it's almost like emmanuel quickly is like a new age version of lou williams where lou williams is more of a mid-range scorer emmanuel quickly is more of a three-point scorer both of them could score the ball very prolifically and can both obviously go on to have 30 or even 40 point games pretty easily they're also both best used in my opinion as guys off the bench that could just score ironically enough they also both struggle defensively and they both have a very similar body type obviously they're very similar players and I honestly do see Emmanuel quickly as a new age version of Lou Williams going forward in this league for years to come. Quickly though I do think has a little bit of a better playmaking and passing ability than Lou Williams does. Lou Williams I see more of a shooting guard and just a scoring guard. Emmanuel quickly I see more of a point guard than a shooting guard but he's definitely a combo guard but I see him as a guy who's definitely score first but he could also pass pretty decently well and he's been improving in terms of his playmaking throughout the year. Obviously I really do think Emmanuel Emmanuel quickly has a really good career going forward but keep in mind I'm definitely very biased I am a huge Knicks fan but on top of that as you saw by my intro I'm a really big Emmanuel quickly fan as well but anyways let me know what you guys think in the comments do you think Emmanuel quickly would be the next Lou Williams in this league and he's gonna have a really good career going forward or do you think Emmanuel quickly isn't as good as I think he is but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did enjoy please leave a like and subscribe it really helps me out a lot until the next time peace out guys